If I give you all the instruments you need and I ask you to treat a patient and to do a root canal, will you be able to do it? And if I ask you to extract a tooth on that same patient, will you be able to do it? And if I tell you to crown all his teeth, can you do it? Now, if I ask you to rotate his central, now, in front of me, can you do it? I'll give you all the instruments you need. You can't, me neither, nobody does. The reality is we can't move teeth, but teeth can be moved. This is why you will never go to a dental meeting and see a live orthodontic treatment because you would have to sit there for six months or a year before you see the treatment done. You want to understand orthodontics? You have to understand the mechanics. Everybody is afraid of mechanics. Force, couples, moment of force, moment of couple, tip, torque, translation, rotation, end, center of resistance and center of rotation. Scary. But the truth is these things can be learned. I had the chance to meet great instructors in my life and I dedicate this clear tip to two of them. Dr. Tom Mulligan, who wrote incredible books on mechanics, gave me the greatest gift he could offer me. He introduced me to Dr. Jerry Sampson, who made everything clear for me. I, I finally understood mechanics because of him. And today I can explain it and transfer my knowledge to my colleagues because of him. I'm proud today to call him my friend and I would recommend his courses to anyone serious about incorporating orthodontics in their practice. But first things first, let's begin with the difference between a center of rotation and a center of resistance. This is what I will explain to you in this week's Clear Tip. My name is Stefan Reinhardt, Director of Education for the Clear Institute. And if you like these videos, Subscribe to our channel and click the bell. That way you will be noticed every time we put a new video on our channel. And now it's time to start the timer. Ah, mechanics. One of the most misunderstood subject in orthodontics something a lot of dentists are afraid of and, and yet it is so exciting. <laughs> Understanding mechanics is like seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. When you understand mechanics, you know how teeth move and how to move them. You know what is happening, why it's happening and most importantly, why it's not happening. You can understand what to do when things don't go as planned. And I didn't say if, I said when because sometimes things will go wrong. There's only one way to make sure you will never have any problem with clear aligners or with orthodontics. Just don't do any. Every object has a center of resistance. This has a center of resistance. This has a center of resistance. I have a center of resistance. We just don't know where it is. The center of resistance is a, a point in an object where if you apply a force, you will create pure translation. Teeth have a center of resistance and the problem with them is that their center of resistance is usually somewhere in the root. That means, and you guessed it, that we cannot create pure translation when we're moving teeth. Sometimes we think we did, but nah. We didn't. This means that when we apply a force on a tooth, we will create a rotation. And the point around which the tooth will turn is called the center of rotation. Yes, we. It is important that you understand that the center of resistance will always be at the same place if the shape of the object, or in this case, the tooth, doesn't change. But the center of rotation can always change place and it will depend on where we apply the force in relation to the center of resistance. Ah, mechanics. I like it so much. I, I could spend days talking about mechanics, but here I only have two minutes. And time's out. If you want to know more about mechanics and how we apply these principles with clear aligners, follow the link in the description below to receive information on the different online courses we offer. High quality education entertainment that is never a waste of time. We will be happy to see you make the move. You think he knows about the shirt? Wow. I don't know. <laughs> That's something. Um, Stefan? <laughs>